Early voting is well underway across New York State tonight, and we get ready for lines if you are going. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. Scott Levin has the night off. Now just take a look at these pictures that a viewer sent us from Lancaster, where he says he was about 200th in line at noon. And it turns out that those lines were too long today, even for the lieutenant governor, who was hoping to cast her ballot here in Buffalo. It appears to be just the way of things if you're looking to cast your ballot early. And we hear more now from Two on Your Side's Dave McKinley. There were plenty of early voters today at this east side polling site, including some you might recognize. David, early voting I see, Mr. Executive. I am early voting. I'm gonna take advantage of it like I think most people should if they have an opportunity. We've got nine days total. The first two days, we actually had more people early vote in Erie County on Saturday and Sunday than we had all nine days of early voting last year. But several who showed up here promptly left, not warm to the prospect of waiting 45 minutes as polling cars did on a cold, damp day. One of the reasons so many people were standing outside in line for so long is when you get in here at this polling site, there are only two places to check in. That was enough to prompt the county executive to place a call to the Board of Elections. I did. I called and, and texted, uh, saying it uh, seems a little tight in here. Uh, are, they, are they missing staff? He says he was told that due to the high number of early voters and only 37 available polling sites plus physical distancing requirements, that long lines are just something you're going to have to be prepared for if you decide to cast your ballot before Election Day. Usually they can fit more people in there, so they might be able to get 10 or 12 people in a room. This is a smaller one. Uh, we, I know the Board of Elections was limited on the number of the places they could go because of early voting with regards to COVID restrictions. Pretty much all schools that we may have used in the past were off limits. And, and it would have been nice to have been able to use a school where you got more room, but they were off limits because of the issues associated with COVID. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul also showed up here intending to vote early. She did not. Her schedule did not permit her to wait that long, and it probably would have looked bad if she'd been allowed to cut the line. So instead, she just dropped off some goodies for the poll workers and will try another time. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.